Hi, tonight I'm going to be talking about Doombeck and uh, playing with split finger technique using four fingers. And the four fingers you use, it's this one, it's your ring finger in your right hand, your pointer finger in your right hand, in your left hand you use your pointer finger and your ring finger. It's the same in both hands. So you don't use your second finger or your pinky or your thumb. So it's just these, these, and we're going to call them one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. And then, so the technique is just to be able to do this. It's, it's like uh, opening a door kind of, but it's this. It's this snapping technique of your wrist that's doing this. It's not this, but this instead. It's a whip. You whip it. So it's one, three, two, four, one, three, two, four, one, three, two, four, one, three, two, four, one, three, two, four. So that's the technique. Now, the greatest thing that I've found here lately is to be able to, sub, to divide this into sixes because you're playing groups of four. But then if you divide it into sixes, it's one group of four plus half a group of four, which is six. It's four plus two plus, and then you do that, which is this one. That's the first six. And the next six starts with this finger. And that's the next six. And you connect them. So you basically are doing, here's what you're doing. You're going to do three groups of sixteenths, which is 12 notes. And you're going to stick it just like this. It's one, three, two, four, one, three, two, four, one, three, two, four. So that's, here's what that is. Now, halfway through that, we're going to put an accent on the seventh beat to so you can feel a pulse and it's gonna sound like this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so every six notes you put an accent and it's gonna be on this finger on your th on what we're calling number one and then six notes later it'll be on number two I'll show you slow one two three four five six two two three four five six one two three four five So all you're doing is this. And then you have the other hand.
Uh, since we're in six now, let me show you probably the best exercise I found besides this three camps video that I made earlier tonight that's posted before this is to just play this rhythm that's going dig it a dig it a dot 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 dig it a dig it a dot 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 dig it a dig it a dot 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 dig it a dig it a dot 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 and that's all you do and the first group of sixes is going to start with this finger your what we're calling number one and then it ends here and then you start with the next group starts with this finger so the rhythm's always going to be dig it a dig it a dot 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 dig it a dig it a dot 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 let me play it play it and then I'll slow it down Again, all you're doing is this. And if you want to keep the sixes going continuously, all you have to do is remember that the first accent goes on your first finger and the second accent goes on your second finger. I'll do it slow and then speed it up. Every six notes you're gonna hear an accent. It starts with this one and then it goes to this one. So, I hope you understand what I'm trying to get at. Uh, just by the accent, you're making it, you're, you're able to put um, drum fills and rhythms in a different meter because the technique is always four notes going straight up. So, for that reason, it's easy to play in four. One, two, ready, go. Now, if you put an accent in the middle of that, it's all of a sudden in another meter. Okay. Uh, so... That, what I was just doing there at the end, is one of my favorite exercises because you get to alternate which hand starts the triplets. Which finger starts the triplets? It's going to be the third. The first finger starts the first group. The second finger starts the second group. You'll, you'll fi figure it out as we go along. So if you want to just do it continuously. So 
So, that's that one. Uh, uh, there's another one uh, that goes uh, where you're going to do continuously the, the triplets, but then you're going to put this funky accent that goes da, da, di, da, da, di, da, da, di, di, da, di. So you're going. Real slow that is again. Okay, now, uh, so you can just make them up as you go. That's that's the best thing. There's a there's a book called Stick Control uh, for for drummers by George Stone, and it just has rhythms like dig it a dig it a dot 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 dig it a dig it a dot 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 dig it a 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 dot 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 dot. have to remember which finger it, it, the, the downbeats um, fall on. That helps. That helps with the accents. So also one of the best exercises, I'm sorry I get ahead of myself, one of the best exercises in 12-8 or in 6-8 is just to ac accent every fourth note. And if you do that, the first finger is going to be the first accent. The fourth finger is going to be the second accent. The second finger is going to be third accent. And the third finger is going to be the fourth accent. Sounds complicated, but just play an accent on every beat. Yeah, just if you're playing in 6-8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But the numbers are going to be... One, two, three, four, 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 one. that one that's a great one um, since COVID and everything I've been able to practice a lot on this split finger technique and being able to play in six is just really uh, opened up a whole lot of possibilities uh, musically and time-wise and tech te with my technique too so it's been incredible and uh, uh, I, I wish you guys luck with this um, Contact me if you have any questions or anything, but that's uh, that's about all I want to talk about today. I'm sorry if, too, if, if it was too much information or if I ever 
went too fast. But uh, just keep keep drumming and keep practicing. It's just a member. It's just a matter of getting muscle memory. Once you get going. Okay, y'all have a great day, and I'll catch you later.